Yeah, so let's start sure. with, uh, with foreign policy. Uh, yeah. What did you think on the, about the president's speech? Did you agree with what he was saying on foreign policy and the direction the administration's heading, or do you disagree? Yeah. Uh, so overall, I thought there were some good parts to the president's speech and some bad parts. Uh, specifically on foreign policy, I agreed with him that we should not be in endless wars. I supported his withdrawal of troops from Syria uh, early on. I continue to think that is the right thing to do, so I do support the president uh, on that issue. What did you think about the um, a comment he made about the summit with Kim Jong-un, the second one? Uh, do you, what are your expectations for the administration heading into yeah. that meeting? Where would you like to see sure. them go? Uh, I support the diplomacy, but the facts as they relate to North Korea are the following. North Korea has not gotten rid of a single nuclear weapon. They have not gotten rid of a single missile. They have not reduced their chemical weapons stockpile. And the public reporting is that they've actually increased nuclear fuel and they're hiding the missile bases from the United States. So right now, North Korea has not taken really any action uh, that we in Congress would view as a positive step other than providing remains uh, back to the United States. Uh, that is one positive step. What was your reaction when you heard the president say we would have been in a war with North Korea if he had lost yeah. the election? Yeah. Uh, I don't think that is true. Uh, that is the president's opinion. He's entitled to have his own opinion. And then I uh, also wanted to ask you about the border issue. Uh, looking at immigration, what's your position on the border wall going forward? Would you support something that's a physical barrier but not the actual concrete barrier the president's going so I think it's important to have the same view of what the actual facts are. So if you look at the actual facts, based on Donald Trump's own words from last year, border crossings are at a 45-year low. Based on the FBI's latest statistics, violent crime and property crime are down across America. And study after study shows that immigrants commit less crime than native-born Americans. So if we agree on that, then we can move forward on securing the border because it's not uh, the facts that the president has in his mind. These big, scary caravans he's talking about, they present themselves at our legal checkpoints. You don't see big, scary caravans going through Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. So he's hyping all of this up, but they're actually presenting themselves at our legal checkpoints. So I'm fine with having additional resources go to our legal checkpoints, increasing drug detection technology at our legal checkpoints, which is where 80 to 90 percent of the drugs go through. So I think there are areas we can work with on the president. He's put the dreamers on the table, uh, legal status for them. Would you get behind the $5.7 billion he's asking for for more barriers on the border with the, with the dreamer uh, issue or anything else under any circumstance? So, th so that's a good question. Uh, if there was a comprehensive immigration reform bill, uh, I could vote for it if, at, if it had elements of physical barriers in there, uh, if there was also uh, uh, values that I believe were important, such as DREAMers providing legal protection with TPS and also a pathway to citizenship. So it would depend on the details of any immigration reform bill.